Uh, out here we're practicing some, some explosive breaching. Um, the Fanny General came out, uh, learned a little bit about the uh, APOBs. Uh, it's another explosive breaching asset that we have that we can employ uh, for our supported uh, rifle battalion. Right, right, right. Cooling the overall objective is for one, for our Marines to get another rep at um, executing an explosive breach, especially with um, the APOBs. It's not something we get to shoot very often, uh, but it's a huge capability that we can bring to the table. Um, and then also, so the commanding general can get some situational awareness on what it does, what its capabilities and limitations are, and then how we can employ it in the future. Uh, this training is important. Uh, because it's going to enable us to establish proficiency to provide mobility to Victor 32 uh, in the event of uh, during deployment or in a combat environment. So this system makes Second Marine Division more lethal and capable because it's going to provide us uh, with 1,750 pounds of C4 to clear a 100 meter lane through an enemy obstacle group, uh, whether that's anti-tank mines, anti-personnel mines, so that motorized and mechanized assets of the division can move through to the objective uh, to ultimately uh, assault the enemy. When we can do explosive breaching, uh, it's, always, it's always a good rep to get in, especially when we have a team going out the door supporting Golf Company 2-6. So.